Hi everyone, it's Sharon, and I'm back to do another video. This time, I'm doing a video on cerebral palsy. Have you ever asked yourself the question, what is CP and what kind do I have? Well, CP is a disorder that's caused by brain damage that can occur before or after birth. It affects the motor skills within the body and the muscles. It also can cause developmental disabilities, learning disabilities, and speech impediments. There's four types of CP, spastic, altoid, elastic, and no CP. I'm not too keen on the other three, but I do know because of the fact that I have spastic CP, spastic CP mainly affects the muscle in your body. It's the tightness of your muscles within the body. So you could have a little bit or a lot. Also, I wanted to, to touch um, based on the, the, the treatments and the surgical procedures that you can help that you can have to help cope with your CP. Um, you also can go through physical therapy, occupational therapy, aqua therapy, the medications as well. You have baclofen and some others. Um, mostly, they uh, doctors recommend baclofen. Um, with the surgeries, you could have a baclofen pump put in. You could have um, leg lengthening surgeries, tendon um, release. Um, I had uh, abductor and hamstring release surgeries when I was young. I also um, am on the medication baclofen to help with my, uh, my anti-spasticity. Also, I have gone through physical therapy and occupational therapy. That's where they work, um, physically work your muscles for you and give you exercises to do at home. Um, the occupational therapy helps with your fine, your fine motor skills and um, things of that nature. Um, the most beneficial therapy that I have undergone is aqua therapy. I love aqua therapy and I can't say enough about this. Aqua therapy literally helped me a lot. It helps relax my muscles so that I'm able to move um, and work my legs better. Also, it, it's just fun being in the water. If you haven't considered it, I would recommend it because it's just more relaxing and you're able to um, do a little bit of physical therapy in the water um, with the treatments. I've known a lot of people that have done um, Botox and... Um, They've gone through the, the baclofen pump in, uh, implantation and things of that nature. Um, I haven't physically went through the um, baclofen pump implantation, but um, it may work for some people. I, myself, do not like to go under the knife, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that don't like to do that as well. So, um, to, to each his own. Also, um, with the Botox, it helps relax the muscles. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else it does. Um, but I know, like I said, I've known some people that, that actually gone through it and it helps them out a lot. So if that's something that you might want to inquire, then I wouldn't hesitate to inquire about it. 
Also, um, I also forgot to mention about the the types of uh, parts of the body that are affected as far as CP goes. Um, I have mild spastic dysplasia. Dysplasia means that the lower the lower part of the body, such as the legs, are uh, are affected only. Um, I do know that hemiplegia is or affects one part of the body or one side of the body. Um, quadriplegia. It means all four of your limbs are affected. Um, and also, the, the severity levels you have, mild, moderate, and severe. Moderate is where you can walk on your own with little assistance to none at all. Also, um, with mild, you you need a little bit of assistance, such as crutches, walker, braces, and sometimes a wheelchair. But you're mainly ambulatory. Um, severe, you need a wheelchair most of the time, and you need help with daily tasks and activities. Um, If I forgot anything, just feel free to message me and I'll, you know, I'll look into it. Um, I also wanted to uh, say that, and I need to say, and I want to say to people with disabilities and prove to people that are able-bodied, that even though we're disabled, we have dreams too. Um... The only thing that I haven't been able to do as of yet is drive. And other than that, I can, I'm basically ambulatory. I'm basically that I can do everything on my own. Um, but most of all, no matter what your goal is in life, I encourage you to to fulfill that goal because you don't you you don't know what you can do unless you try it and so i like i said i encourage you to try your goals and don't let anybody or anything stop you from doing that my main goal right now in my life is to drive. I want that independence. I want to be able to go shopping and all these other places. I want to be able to hang out with my friends. I want to be, I just want to be a free spirit. And I feel that I can do that if I learn how to drive and not have to depend on other people. Um, I want to do this. This is something I've wanted to do all my life. So I'm asking for you to donate. You don't have to donate much, but I'm asking you to donate what you can. I've set up a fundraiser page. And I'm just asking that you donate. Um, I will have it posted on my page, uh, my Facebook page, my Twitter page. I also ask that you uh, friend me on Facebook and Twitter if you'd like. Um, do just please donate so that I can make this a reality. Please. Um, 
I just want you to be a part of my journey. And I'm willing to share this with everybody that comes into contact with me. Um, so please donate. You can add me at Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Shea0802. You can also add me at Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Shea0883. Um, and I will have my donation page uh, posted on my Facebook page. I'm not really sure what the um, direct link is, but it will be there. So I'm just asking again from the bottom of my heart that you donate. Thank you.